Hey guys, it's Robin the Lady Biker. How is everyone doing today? Well, Allie and I. Hello everyone. <laughs> we have decided to run away again for the weekend and we are headed up uh, to a little spot a friend of mine told me about just north of Jurian Bay to do a little moto camping. We have no idea what we're getting into. The only thing we know for sure is it's on the beach and we got to take a dirt road to get there. Ah, what are we getting ourselves into? <laughs> With summer fast approaching, Allie and I have only so much time to ride north before the heat sets in. We could not pass up the opportunity to take the two and a half hour ride north of Perth to the beautiful turquoise coast and check out the Sandy Cape Recreational Park. Shortly after the Information Bay, the sealed pavement gives way to maintained dirt roads and the sound of the ocean. Making our way into the park to find a campsite was an adventure all its own since the park is a first-come, first-served location, meaning there is no promise you will get a site. You just have to show up and hope one is available. After finding a great little spot and setting up camp, we then made our way back into Jurin Bay, about a 10-kilometer ride south of camp for supplies. With space limited on a bike, Allie and I frequent the local grocers for what we need each day. Food, beverages, you know, whatever. Hey, good morning everyone. It is day two. And let's see if I can find it. It is just after sunrise, and Allie and I are walking around the beach. He, uh, he's not quite ready to be on camera yet, <laughs> but it is just, it is so beautiful here and so peaceful. And um, I mean, it's a little bit challenging getting in, as you saw. <laughs> that the dirt road in at first was kind of rough, but once you get into the park, it's very easy to, to ride even on, even with our big street bikes. Oh, ah! <laughs> And the waves are chasing me this morning. Anyway, we're uh, just gonna spend a little time walking on the beach, go get some breakfast, and uh, maybe hike around and see what we can find here. After breakfast, we took off to hike the length of the park, both the organized and the bush camp sites. The bush sites being those not shown on the information map. Basically, what we really were after was what four-wheel drive needed really meant. The cool thing is, we think we can get our bikes into some of the bush camp sites and found one that will be our site of choice coming back. After a morning of hiking, we enjoyed camp for a moment. Question, do you think that the shade manufacturers expected people to anchor them off of Harleys? <laughs> then it was time to head back into town for more supplies and a bit of lunch. When there, you must try the Slovaki. After heading back, we wanted to enjoy the beach for the afternoon and the amazing cove that the park is located on. With crystal clear water 
and stunning sand dunes, there is something for everyone, including sandboarding. Basically, all you need to bring is your swimsuit, your sunscreen, and your willingness to find adventure. The climb up the dunes is not an easy one, but the view, oh, the view is completely worth it. All in all, the day was low key and more than we expected. Once we found the perfect spot, we settled in to watch the sunset and the campfire. All right, good morning, guys. It is sadly our last morning here in Jurian Bay, and um, I am not ready to leave. You either? Morning. Nope. <laughs> it is just, it is beautiful here and so incredibly peaceful. And, uh, so I think we're just gonna take our time on packing up camp, just be slow and enjoy before we have to go back to reality because it is coming. So, breakfast, breakfast. <laughs> and then just like that, another wonderful weekend came to a close and it was time to get back on the road. We are back on the road and just as we were turning on all of the cameras <laughs> tell them babe what happened oh a huge bug splat right on the left eye <laughs> yeah he goes oh it just splattered it was a juicy one let me tell you guys if any of you have never ridden here in western australia the bugs are enormous i mean I don't know what it is, what they feed the bugs here, but they are big. And then when they hit like your knee or your hands, they hurt. <laughs> and they're juicy, very juicy. And they're very juicy. Oh, so full face helmets here. There is a, I mean, it's not just a protection from, you know, if you go down, it's a protection from the bugs. <laughs> anyway, guys, we, that was our first trip up to Sandy Cape in just north of Jurian Bay. And, you know, it's, it was such a good weekend. The views were stunning. But it was getting Allie and I back into, even though the camp has caretakers and is somewhat organized, I mean, there's no power, there's no water, so you have to pack in all of your your drinking water, all of your food, I mean, the whole nine yards. So it was, I mean, short of having very, um, what do we call them in the U.S., babe? Eco toilets or drop toilets? Um, probably drop. They're not composting, so drop. All right, well, it's, I think they're called the same here in Australia as well, just a drop toilet. It is... I mean, that's basically the extent of the amenities. And uh, so it really got us back into more camping, camping. And we, we were lucky enough to get a nice little spot that gave us some privacy, a little bit of a windbreak, but yet we could so easily hear the water at night and the waves. All right, so as I was asking you last night, hun, whenever we were watching the sunset, what was your favorite thing about this trip and what is one thing that you want to either change or alter before we do another one? Well, favorite thing I think was just getting back out. 
that and just being close to the beach, really. Just being able to hear the ocean all day long. Uh, being able to just focus a little dune and see the water. It, that was fantastic for me. People were really friendly, beautiful water, great scenery. So what would I change? Um, we did hike back to some of the more remote sites. I'd consider uh, head back there um, a little bit more remote site. Have to get a little more adventurous with riding on sand, so we'll have to figure out how to do that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I was talking about definitely about, I mean, it's one of those that I know personally to do that, I would want to park at the end of what is the true organized part of the camp and hike to the spot to make sure that the road is, I feel comfortable enough on, because my my dirt skills are still growing. (laughs) Uh, My favorite thing for me was how easy it was to just relax hearing the water. It was so, so nice. Um, I understand now, baby, why you love the ocean as much as you do. I mean, growing up on the Gulf Coast, especially so close to Houston, you know, oceans are muddy. And, you know, it's because right there, you know, you're so close to the Mississippi and you're so close to the uh, Houston Ship Channel. So all of the sand and everything is churned up. It never settles and becomes clear. And the water here was is beautiful. Oh, especially when we did that hike over to the point and we got up around the, the rocks and then up on top of the dune. And that was that was pretty cool, you know. But what I would tweak is, you know, we've, we realize there's a few things that we need to add to our camp gear, you know, such as bug spray and a few things like that. So it's just hoping that we remember all of our stuff that we wanted to add to the camping setup. Just little tweaks to make camping more comfortable. Well, guys, I think that's about it. As soon as we get a safe passing area, we're going to get around this uh, RV. All right, RV if you're in the U.S., caravan if you're here in Australia. <laughs> Same thing, different name. Uh, but, babe, I think we're going to have to go for a ride one of these days and talk about how there's two different types of campers. I have yep. seen that difference in our, our time out and about. So, guys, with that said, if you can, get out and ride. When you do, have fun, be safe, and we're going to catch you on the next video. Bye, guys.